Hello 3D printing peeps, hello Bamboo Studio users, hello P1P and X1C owners. Today I'm going to talk to you about temperature towers, what they are, how to use them, and why you should. Some of you may wonder what the best temperature to print is, and the answer is that that temperature can change from filament to filament. Rather than guessing your way through random tests, something exists known as a temperature tower or simply a temp tower. What a temp tower does is print a structure such as this one that will change the temperature of the model at various layer heights in order for you to examine which temperature prints the best and which temperature prints the worst. Identifying the temperature that prints the best, of course, is the ultimate goal of this process. This model uses specific G-code in order to instruct the printer to make the temperature change at the specific height. This may sound scary to you, but the good news is most of these models come with a version that already has the G-code instructing those temperature changes included for you. All you need to do is bring that specific file into your slicer and print it. Keep in mind, if you are using a P1P, you will want to be sure you are using a temp file that has been pre-sliced and coded for the P1P. If you are using an X1C, you will want to bring in a file that has been pre-sliced and G-coded for an X1C. The process for doing this on your X1C is the same as your P1P. However, I would just be sure to use a file that you know for sure was tested and meant for an X1C. I will provide one in my description. To print this example temp tower, I will be using a P1P. Starting at 190 degrees, it will increase the temperature in increments of 5 degrees all the way up through 230 degrees. On each side of this temp tower, there will be angles that are marked 35 degrees and 45 degrees. This temp tower will test things such as overhangs, bridging, stringing, layer lines, and top surfaces. Keep in mind, this test is not printer specific. It is filament specific, meaning this is not a test of the printer itself. This is a test of how the printer itself and a specific filament perform. When working with new or different filaments, you may need to run this test on that specific filament as you may find that that filament performs differently at different settings than other filaments you've worked with. So whenever working with a new filament for the first time, running some towers such as this is a great way to help improve your initial success. Go ahead and click on print plate, choose the correct filament. I'm going to send mine to black PLA and off it goes. Alrighty, so here is the temp tower. You can see it's listed from 190 to 230. This is the magical P1P and it did a pretty snazzy job at all temperatures. This won't always be the case, especially on older bed slinger type printers. You may find they are a lot more temperature specific. However, the P1P did a really good job at all temperatures, which does confirm that it may be a little bit of a myth that you have to print at higher temperatures for good quality on the P1P and X1C. As you can see, the quality is quite nice at 190. Even the overhangs are very well printed, very clean. However, I do find that to my surprise, the cleanest looking temperature on this particular temperature tower is 210. So I think I will turn my printing temperature down just a little bit in future prints. And this simple little print helped me to figure that out. In some less fortunate cases, you may find that there is stringing or sagging or that these overhangs are less clean. So what you would do is study this tower, find the one that looks the best, 
and for this particular filament you would go ahead and print at that temperature. That my friends is how a temperature tower works. You may also do this with flow, retractions, and other settings. Some of those are less useful on a bamboo printer and more useful on Enders and CR10s and printers similar to those. However, even with your P1P and your X1C in Bamboo Studio, a simple temperature tower can help you improve the results of your fancy printing. So pick your favorite filament, fire up a temperature tower, and find out just what is the correct temperature you should be using rather than guessing.